currently trying to get the uh, back engine mount Got it. bolt out. Dan is putting his male muscles into this one. <laughs> Probably running the shaft. She's coming. Boy, she's seized pretty bad. Struggle's real, folks. Struggle's real. It's time to take this bad boy totally out. Oh, yeah. You put the drain plug back in? Ah, oh, no, nah, dude. Oh, man. Rookie move, man. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> That's why I just ride them. So another reason why we're replacing it is just so you guys can see how notchy that is. It's probably a good idea to change that. Now that the engine is out of the frame, now is the time to clean it up. As you can see, there's some spots, some oil and grease stains. I'm just gonna take advantage of it while I have it down this uh, far apart to clean up the frame as best I can. I'm gonna do that as well with the uh, triple clamps. I'm gonna probably soak those in the sink and uh, clean those up as well. The hoses on the radiators, you can see there's uh, some dirty spots on uh you know where it's hard to get access when it's uh on the bike so i'm gonna be doing that as well cleaning that up basically everything else on it is gonna be uh you know newer parts and already been cleaned up so yeah that's the spot that's where we're at now on this thing now we're at the point that uh, we can throw the engine back into this thing dan the man is back over what are you thinking what's uh what's next um, we'll get the engine in, probably do steering stem bearings. We need to get the shock bearing installed and then we can mount that. And then all the little pieces. Sweet. Should be good for tonight. Cool, cool. We have till like, uh, what is it, Wednesday night to get this thing together before uh, we hit the road. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Well, I hope that beard uh, helps the situation out. I think it's getting long, dude. Oh, baby. She's ready to go. It's time to put these head stem bearings in the uh, freezer. You want another muffin, bro? Uh, two. Two? All right, so this is where uh, the kitchen magic happens. Before we have to put these in the freezer, we gotta grab a muffin here. <sighs> hey, mama. Oh, yeah. It's kind of nice having a uh, place to put some of your head bearings at. Freezers aren't just good for food. New bearings are in. Trip clamps are going on. Oh yeah, look what we got here. It's like Christmas all over again. Shh. Looks like we got some uh, IRC tires here. Got a few boxes from Motorsport and uh, ODI it looks like. Down here it looks like we have um, W box. I think I got my rims in here. Some more uh, Motorsport stuff. Front brake, do some gnarly stoppies. Um, Looks like we got uh, some sprocket specialists. Can't wait to show you guys what they made up for me on this. So sick. Some Mojo Motorsport. I think a bolt kit in there, a works bolt kit. And in here we got uh, some more uh, Motorsport stuff that I got. FMF pipe, some other parts and accessories. Oh yeah, electron carb, pegs. Clamps are on. New bearings, forks are slipping on. Clamps are all uh, redone with new bearings. Top and bottom, forks, all gold valve ready to go. Mojo Motorsport hooked it up with a bolt kit for the bike, just to make the bike look even more beautiful. 
Look at how pretty this hardware looks. Man. Man, what do we got going on here? Are you giving away my secrets? I'm giving away all your secrets, dude. Gotta right, go for it. So you guys better be all paying attention here. Because I'm not. Oh, dude. Man, they say don't buy used bikes. Look at this. Suspension is on. Front and rear. Dan is bolting down, torquing down, whatever you want to call it. The engine mounts right now. I just hope he doesn't snap a bolt off right now. You know, because like this is his actual first main build, so it's so easy a caveman can do it. The subframe is being mounted. She's starting to look like a bike now. So far, so good. We got the front forks on, front end's looking good. We got uh, the Electron on, kind of uh, bolting everything up as we go. Subframe is mounted. We got uh, some new hardware too here for uh, the chain. New sprockets, new chain guide. Oh yeah, some freshy IX09s. Thank you IRC. Oh snap. W coming through. Oh, with the all gold. Jeez, it's so pretty, dude. Ah. So W gave us all the uh, hardware, including the spoke kits for the rims. I got a 19 inch rim over there and an 18 for uh, trail riding and then moto, so I can change it out. Probably uh, keep a uh, gummy on this bad boy. So I wasn't able to film everything that we did to the bike tonight just because I didn't want the vlog to be 30 minutes long. But for the most part, like I just want to show you guys a little bit of a like a wraparound on the bike, kind of what we've got done so far and what kind of we have planned for the next step. But Dan uh, got the forks on here. We got the plastics and stuff all mocked up. We don't have anything tight because we have to wait for the wheels to be built, which Dan are working on right now. I got... Uh, some, some rims and stuff that need to be um, all uh, laced together with some Cerakoted hubs that we're waiting on. But until then, we'll be able to get everything tight up front, uh, moving towards the middle of the bike. The engine, we're still waiting on the covers. We weren't able to kind of finish getting the mo engine mounted. Uh, we're still waiting on, you know, some covers here and there. Magneto cover as well. We got the Electron Carb on here. The thing just looks super sick. Um, I hope it works as good as it looks, which uh, they do. And I just hope it works good for this bike as well. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked on that for sure. We got uh, moto tape on here. We got the uh, air box on the back of this thing. I kind of cleaned it out as best I can. Lots of scrubbing, but uh, we still have some work to do. But for the most part, we got the, uh, the new edition plastics on this that they made. So uh, they offer kind of a whole new look. So it's like a modern look now, but it just looks super sick. It gives you that new brand new look for a two stroke, which, you know, I just had to do that, um, you know, for this whole bike build thing. So we're just really waiting on wheels and some uh, covers to come in. Once that's kind of here, we'll be able to move forward, get the exhaust on there, FMF, and uh, get this thing rolling.